Okay, hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial. So I'm going to be showing you five tricks to make your design more efficient with Coral Draw. So that's what we'll be doing today. So let's dive straight in. So um yes we want to do. I'm gonna be showing you guys some things as I've said earlier. So let's start with with this. Now there's this function in Coral Draw that allows you, like you start anything that you could actually draw out like this, be it a selection. You know, you, they have something similar. You you draw a rectangle like this. You make a selection like this. Um, a circle like this. You zoom like this. So when things like this occur. Corner draw gives you um, a way you could like move around, play around, and do this efficiently. Let's say we want to draw a rectangle, and maybe we want it to start from up. So this looks somewhat funny. You might not know how I can. I'm moving this around while I can still draw at the same time. So here's the trick behind it. Now quickly do everything, and then start with a selection. So when I drag around like this, I am holding my left click to drag, as you all know. So I'm not going to let go of the right click, sorry, the left click. So I'm still using the left click to drag around to create my desired shape or box or circle or anything. So I'm still going to use my right click to drag around. So at this point in time, I'm using my two mouse buttons to move around. So when I want to stop, I release my right click, leaving the left click alone so I could make further selection. The same thing applies to the zoom too. When you zoom also, you want to increase the range of your zoom. You'll take it out like this by holding your right click and your left click together and taking it out. Then you release your right click and then leave the left, left click to make your final selection. The same thing happens to the circle like this and rectangle also. So that is tip number one. It comes in handy, especially when you are designing something that has a lot of objects. Like you want to make this selection a bit precise. So instead of you to cancel, you started dragging. Instead of you stopping it, coming over again, it could be stressful. So this trick is here to help you out. So that's one. Coming up, second. So what I'm going to show you here is how I align, how you can align properly. So when you want to align with Coral Draw, I want you guys to know that there's um there are some short keys you should need to know. Let's start with T, we stand for top, B, we stand for bottom, C, we stand for center, L, we stand for left, R, we stand for right. And then E, which also stands for center. Okay, so let's say this center is going to be vertical, and this center is horizontal. So now I'm going to break it down and explain to you guys. Corner draw make it in a way that it will be very very easy for you guys to remember while you're working. So. Um, let me create a background quickly. Let me just give it like a light blue also. Okay, then I create another another something like this. Okay, if you want to know how to do that, I I have reduced this just now like this. I'm going to show you guys how to duplicate. I think that should be the last one I'm going to be doing today. So just sit tight and watch. I'll show you guys a lot of tips you guys can like. Okay. Now, after getting this, we're going to use this box to text all these short keys around. Okay, so when you want to align, you use your you you make um multiple selections by selecting the first object and holding your shift and selecting the secondary object. Okay, now 
let's try the T oyster for top. We we'll notice it picks our shape to the top of the secondary selected object. When we eat the B, it takes us down. When we eat the C, it takes us to the center. Yeah, from year to year is equal to year from year to year. So which is horizontal, not vertical like this. Then the left also takes us to the left hand side. The right to the right. And then the last one, which is E, it takes us to the center vertically. So from year to year should be equal, from year to year should be equal. So then it's the E and you see what I'm saying? Exactly. So this is how you align well with your coral draw. So it might seem a little confusing, but if you take your time and check it out, try it, make a little, um, just try it out. Do some examples and do it and you find out it's, it's actually nice. It's something that is easy, not as hard as it seems here in the tutorial. So that also brings me to distribution also. So having all those odd keys should help me. Um all these keys here are also very necessary. Let's assume we have them here like this, and we need equal spacing between them. From year to year, from year to year, year to year should be equal spacing. So you make multiple selection by holding your shift and selecting them. Now I want them equal. You could use the center short keys or alt keys. So you try the shift C and shift E. Then one of them should work well for you. So um, let me make it a bit more understandable. Let's assume this is one over here. Let's say they are well aligned like this, okay, but not well spaced. You can notice that there is irregular irregularities. <laughs> Permit me. So in the spacings. So and this one also. Let's assume they are coming down like this, and as you can see, they are having the same problem. So they are not well equally spaced. So for this, you just hold your Shift E, and it will automatically space them equally. Shift E does the magic here. Then when it's vertical like this, Shift C will do the magic for you. So that's that about the align and distribution short keys. So moving up, the next thing we want to know is something very really nice. That is how to convert your outline to curves. This can come in handy especially when you are working with write-ups like text. Let's assume I write Jola graphics on a background with a blue. And this is coming out white. Okay, Fujiyama. Let me just use a a very um thick front. Let me just do this and then let's say I make this red and I want to give it an outline like this. It's in my F drive. Then I increase the outline and I take it behind the fill like this. So now, there's a way we could separate the outline, like the outline over here. There's a way we can separate it from the text itself. So the shortcut is Ctrl Shift Q. So when you hit this, you can take your text out. You can even re-edit it. But now you have your the outline converted down for you. So this is something that might also be very the full maybe want to just create a shadow just outlines around the text so instead of you just so it's just actually nice it's nice it's very useful when you are being creative you find some times when this can help you help you okay so that's that about this so the next thing i'm going to show you guys is how to change keys with so let me 
quickly bring back my text and delete this and then make, maybe make this white now we notice everything in like capitalism now we want to change the keys like we hold our shift f3 then when you, you you can see we can change it from to sentence keys lower keys upper keys title and top keys so let's make a title case and then we have only the first letter capital letter. so we select everything in the game upper case everything capital letter so this can help you instead of canceling all your text and retyping them with your caps lock on so i think this is also a very good and useful something so now i want to show you guys how to duplicate like a pro Okay, let's assume we have this rectangle over here. There are couples of ways you could you could um duplicate your object. Let me start with the plus key. When you hit the plus on your number on your number pad, so that if your system has one, so it duplicates. Just hit it and then move around. So it duplicates on the same spot. Okay, another one is Ctrl D. When you hit Ctrl D, it duplicates to a certain degree of spacing pattern. Okay, so it just kind of Ctrl D, Ctrl D, just goes and duplicates for you. And then when you want to duplicate again, you could use your right click. Like when you're dragging it around, then you position it where you want it before dropping it. You hit your right click. Then when you see this plus sign behind um the cursor then you drop it and boom you got yourself duplicated an object another way you can do it is like right click and drag and when you're dropping you see move here and copy here then you can copy here and this is also something very very nice so i think that is all i might want to show you guys how to do but before that let me quickly give you guys a quick bonus um let me just find a picture somewhere and then show you guys how to use the eyedropper to to pick color from the picture and then make use of it in your designs so i copy this picture it's a picture of a couple not well touched shower boots let's just use it for this tutorial so let's say we get down here and pick our color eyedropper to then when you select the color when you move over around it you see the color profile shown already so when you click around let me get my rectangles around so okay so when i use the eyedropper to, to pick a color around here you could fill it in your designs so it's a good way of picking colors around so that's the big bonus i wanted to show you guys so if you find this tutorial helpful you know what just tell me your best um top five in the comment section let me know which one is kind of new to you so thank you very much for watching once again my name is jala graphics